Hello and welcome, my name is Nilaus and this is episode 18 of our Let's Play campaign of Factorio where we're playing with Angel's Mods and Bob's Mods. We have now rounded off our work on um, yeah, on this area. What I just did since last time is actually I doubled the production of methanol gas into because that was actually the bottleneck of the whole thing. Then I also saw that the residual gas was actually sometimes overflowing so I just put in a nice little overflow valve here that only triggers when the pipes are more than 80% filled. That means when it goes above 8. When, right when it goes above 8, you will see this one flicker on like that. Flickers on for a second. And that just means it doesn't jam. It's a really neat way of making sure it doesn't jam. So, what I want to do today is actually use this part. The whole point of all of this was enable me to get some lubricant. And boy oh boy do I have some lubricant. In order to do this, I need a train. Hmm. I really should be getting a train, right? Um, hmm. Oh, why is that broken? Well, I don't know. It's because I'm a shitty driver, to be honest. Well, I want to make electric engines. Oh, I should not be driving like this. I should stay on the roads, and I reach, reach a fence and all of that, so I'm relatively... So oh, crap. You didn't see that. That's just me being a noob. There we go. No one ever noticed that. Here we are. And at this point, I really also... I'm not going to have five diesel locomotives, right? And definitely not five cargo wagons either. There you go. Three and six. That sounds about right. And I really should be getting it up there. But that's not something that's very compelling gameplay. So that's... Because driving back and forth and picking up... Whoa! Hello! That was fast. Science. Nothing inbound or outbound from science. Engines, however, I will need something inbound and outbound. If we just have a look at this one, you can see 2.4k, 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 1.1k, and a bit 12. I'll take these out and put them in here so I get a better sense. So that's yeah, it's 9,000. These engines. That's pretty amazing. If I ever wanted to build some robots, but I don't, so it's not. Now. What I want to do is actually build a train, inbound train here, that is responsible for going up there and getting some oil. Actually, it's not a, supposed to be a train from here, it's actually going to be a train here. So let's try building it. And once it's built, I can take it down there for what it needs to do. Get some more, thank you. And two cargo wagons as we want. The, you are going to called this is called oil outbound you're just gonna stand here until I'm gonna say inventory full that could be like really ridiculous um, time passed the majority of the time should be spent here great let's try it go you are now enabled what I would like to do or what I need to do is actually do this and then figure out how much of each I want what is this this is a methanol gas I think I need that for a lot of things this is also methanol gas so let's just grab a bit of methanol methanol one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then this is the time where I lock these in and I think that I can actually use um, the condition for these roads, uh, for this one, as inactive. So if it's been inactive for, I don't know, 20 seconds, then it's probably not getting any more. Alright, so that's half the inventory reserved for this. What is that one? This is ethylene and this is benzene. Okay, we just need a bit of, a bit of this as well. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, I think. What is this? Sulfuric acid. Might be too much here. Because then I have two with ethylene, two with that. And this one is acidic gas. I don't need that much, much of this. Like this. 
This is a sulfuric acid, yes. And here I have, what is this? This is benzene. Benzene. All right, unfortunately, I, well, it would like, what do we have? Ethylene, ethylene, benzene, benzene, sulfuric, and acid. I think that's good. So I'll probably have too much of majority of things. And then I'll actually just copy them from up here. And let's see how this works. Benzene. Uh, benzene to benzene, yes. That's still the ethylene. This is the ethylene to ethylene. Sulfuric acid goes here, and that one goes here. Full, not full, with sulfuric acid. Why is sulfuric acid not full? Hmm. Oh, it didn't copy. Uh, why are you... Ah, right, okay. Um, guess it's also copied the pickup location as well. There. Full of acid, full of sulfuric acid. Benzene is not quite full, but it will be. Ethylene is full. The methanol is not full. Why is that not full? Oh. I copied the wrong way. That should actually be possible to fill it up. I don't know. Almost. That's while this one is figuring out if it's okay. Then what do we have here? I have NAFTA. And that's also NAFTA. And this one is also NAFTA. So that's going to be three. Fuel oil. All right. Let's get some NAFTA. One, two, three, four with a NAFTA. And this is going. Was there some empty? No, fuel oil. Yes. Fuel one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Definitely like this. Then I don't have a lot left. This one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And what do we have in this one? I have fuel oil and fuel oil. All right, so it could be like four plus three plus three. But I think I need, yeah, I'll do four plus three plus three. I can always change it once it's set. If I see that I don't like the spirit of it or the the spread. There we go. Link lock it in. The essence of this one is that it will Okay, copy paste. Uh, this one, what are you taking? You are taking NAFTA. So copy, paste, paste, paste. That's going to be simple. This one is not going to be simple. This one will be, I'll do that one, but it'll have to be changed to the right pickup location. And then I copy it there as well. Great. So that's, what is this? This is fuel oil. Let's see, can the fuel oil fill it up? It can indeed. Great. So this is actually a full inventory. And almost full inventory. It's the benzene that's not full. Excellent. This is a pretty damn cool train. Um, I don't know where to lose this train. That would really suck. Uh, ah, I have some friendlies out here. And by friendlies, I don't mean friendlies. Um, let's jump in. And you're going to... Engines input. Let's do a time pass. Go. Wow, you're slow. And let's see. I want this to happen. I want it to go over and around and back. I like this. It's actually working exactly as I intended it. And then I'll actually just switch it to manual. Because here, the only thing I really want at this location, and it might change at a later date, is why don't I take it? 
here. I think this should be fine. Because I'm going to get something like this one in. Then I actually can't do it like this. Oops. And I want to make sure that I. This will be a barrel. Um, what's it called? It's called lubricant. Lubricant barrel. There we go. And you're inserting on that side. This one will then be inserting on that side and there. Right? Uh, and you will also be taking lubricant barrel. Lubricant barrel there. And that will fill up this one. And now is the time for me to build to build where I'll be crafting. See, I already want to be able to scale this. Since this is only doing engines, I can't just make a lot of engines, right? I think I should be able to have two of these rows. Do I have enough of these? No, I do not. Let's build some more. And as we are, we need to go over and grab some more iron as usual. More iron, always more iron. Good. Well, that should be keep me covered for now. I think this is a bit crazy how much multi-phase oil I have. Anyway, I don't know if I should use the red. Since it's just internal, I might as well use the yellow belts. I think that's more reasonable. All right, so how much space does this take? This takes one, two, six, seven, eight, nine. So if I start another row here, or basically if I say If I build it exactly like this, just reversed. Let's just pretend. Grabbing, grabbing. Now I can even build it a bit closer. I can build it like this. I'll just have to do it differently, like, like this instead. There we go. That would be... And what I'd want on this one is the... Yep. Great. So, you know what? I might as actually just do it that way. I kind of like this. And this requires iron. I don't need this one because this one is fast enough. But I need this. And. I'll just copy these. Those are the same as I have for my Yuki Industries. These are inserting on the long. These are inserting on the sh long as well. Yes, of course. Then I don't need that one, but we'll always, we can always just grab that, take that out. In any case, I will do this. And then I need to bring in some iron. Iron is precious, so let's grab it here. Why are these not red belts? That I do not understand. Well, they should be. But they're not. And... Like this. And you're just gonna grab this really aggressively. Let's power this up here and here. This is pretty cool. And is this okay? It's actually working. I don't know if that's correct. That all right? I'm I'm gonna put this one here, and then I'll remove this. So now they're all going on the side, and from this one it'll be. Well, I just doubled the production of of engines, but I think that's okay. It's gonna jam pretty soon anyway, so that doesn't matter. And let's bring these, I got quite a few of them now. 
and we have blue and turtles, yes. This is also going to be pretty damn easy. Though unfortunately it wasn't what I wanted to build. But we'll get to it, we'll get to it, don't worry. Like this, and we'll just keep spending the red ones. When I'm done with the red ones, I'll just use blue ones and then make them long. I think that's going to be fine. Okay, now this one is up and running. This will just slowly win out. Let's have a look at the next one. We need more engines. Ah, and I need more. More iron, as always. I might need steel as well. I don't know. And this is now where I should be able to see that it's, yes, it's limiting. It's actually choking here. And this really should be probably like this. And also quite important to make sure that it goes in the right direction. Wow. We have iron issues. Great. And by great, I mean not so great. Anyway. Let's uh, oops. Let's not spend all the iron on this. <clears throat> let's have a look at what this one requires. What do you want? You want electric engines. So that's basically transport. Fine. Engine unit. Fine. Basically transport. Uh, yeah. That we can do. I'll take these out on the outside, and I will get built in here for the engines and then I'll get a built in from will it be from the same side so this one is most definitely splitting here get that in there and I suppose I should get another built like this which will then move up and move around and move in like this I think that makes sense uh, why is this not following the one below it really should be that'll look much nicer And I'll only do one side, but I'll know that I can do two sides. There. How I wish it would also remember the rotation. So be it. <clears throat> then I need a lot of these. And again, that's not going to happen because I am running out of iron. And I do think that I want maybe like this. And <clears throat> I still have, no, I don't have any more of these. Ah, come on. I also need one more as well. will be positioned there just so we are clear and I'm really just running out and that's not gonna work is it because if I do this then well I can't do this right and I can just say in and then I can out here well this will be where I get the circuits running there and the circuits will also be coming in from this one don't know where but we'll figure that out what about you you are you will be exporting something here and then I need one more I think one on barrel will be fine one on barrel there you will be having what is it called it's called lubricant unbarreling the lubricant 
there. I might actually want to give you some empty barrels back. That's actually an issue. Where the hell am I gonna do with, what am I gonna do with the empty barrels? For now, I'll just shove them into a chest. Oh, you know what, three chests, just so I don't run out anytime soon. And... This is really not well prepared when I'm when I'm running so much out of everything. There. Now we have this in every single one. And what we are missing is something is coming up from up here. I will let you run out. You are going to go manual. There we go. Ah, it's already run out of that. It's a bit of a shame or a bit of a worry. You sh really shouldn't be pushing anymore in because it's not there yet. It's not ready. And I will go over and get some more iron, though I can see some really big issues. You know what? I think there's a better way of getting iron. Oof. And I'm also running out of... I have four raw wood. It's probably not going to end well. Let's figure out what the issue is with this iron. Why that is just choking so badly. Okay, well that's a reason. <clears throat> and that one is also choking pretty hard. Okay, so this is actually just a matter of this one being full. Huh. That's strange. Okay, this is very temporary. All right, now you should please move on. And please also, what about, um, what about the iron coming from down here? Why is that not moving? Oh, it's going up here. Ah, it's only spread to one side. Damn. Well, now I have iron. Let's get some more of this. I get a lot of it and then it gets filled up. Filled up again. Did I drop my car? No, I still have my car. And I have a tiny bit of coal. Okay, so this one should actually be going both directions. Yeah, it should. I'm going to do that eventually. Not now. That's something we can do between sessions. And this one is just going crazy on these, but yeah, it is what it is. Yep. Great. This one. Oops. Why? What? How? What's the problem? I'll put a few of these in so it's so this is not really necessary for me to spend a lot of energy on this. What? What? Oh crap. Oh what a mess. What a mess this is. What a mess this is. Okay. Those two. Let's get some of these. Let's actually see how much we are getting in. I don't want this is going to be just jamming so no reason to be working on that uh, let's get some of these and also some of these ones that I definitely need as they are coming in okay I do have a bit left and I'm starting to get this I'm gonna have an issue with this one. I also, I, I'm gonna do that afterwards. Come on, just focus my friend, focus. I'm just kind of worried that I'll run out of time before I'll actually finish this and then this will be sort of like a huge mesh where it's like, I don't even see the point of this. But in my head there is a point and I'm gonna show it. 
because I have to. This I wanted to build. And it's in. Yes. Copy, paste, paste, paste. So I'm just lengthening the insert up the, uh, the unloading part of all of these so that they actually can reach in. This is part of the dub Bob's inserters. Very nice features. Very nice indeed. At first I was really frustrated, to be perfectly honest. And I was ranting about it and I just because it was so annoying, but it was it was not actually that was annoying. It was the default behavior that was really unintuitive. And once these are up, I'm actually interesting enough that it's too far away from the other I said, nope, it's not. And I will get some lamps as well. Then I will, whoops, what is that? The red ones, yeah. I'll do that. And the other one. Yes, great. Let's get some lights in. Oh, that's a mistake. I actually should have built it up here. Then it would also have been symmetrical. So what we have here is almost a production of this. However, I do need to bring up uh, the next one, which is or will be up here. And underground belt goes here. And I want to make sure that this one actually only unloads on one location. This one will be filtering on these. And I'll just use make sure that it unloads on the left side. Then I'll I'll split and I will jump over all this junk. Can I even jump over the junk? Yes, I can. I just do like this. And filter it in here. So that just requires me to get the train with the beacons or whatever it's called. That train up here, that one. Oops. Uh, sorry. Ugh, stop running away, you stupid car. Get back here. I'm, I'm panicking, you're quite clearly right. It is circuit in, goes to logistics in. I will add another stop. It is after logistics, I'll add one that says engines in. The time passed, I don't know, what's it there? 60, it's never gonna stay 60 there. It's gonna be 30 seconds, 30 seconds. And I'm gonna go for it now. I wanna see that it's working. Where is it? Here it is, it's turning the corner. It's gonna be rushing by up here soon. It might be in queued a bit, but I really want to see that it's working. I might actually get one more here. Okay, fast, fast, fast. There. Come on, work. Yes. Awesome. So these two are now unloading at twice the speed. Just want to make sure that it's only loaded on one side because I really don't need that much. And this one will just gradually be emptied a bit. I might in this case actually want because the stuff that gets filled up might not be enough. Okay and we should see the first all of these need to be green and then we should see a lot of stuff coming out. Come on let me see. Yes we have electric engines. Great. So that should be it for now. Thank you very much for joining and I'll be seeing you in a future episode. Cheers. Bye.